Hello, how you doing? Have you seen how easy it is to implement a Perceptron using Python and PyTorch? Well, if not, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I'll quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. Before we get into the Perceptron code, you can quickly review the basics of the Perceptron in this video I created earlier. I provide a quick high level overview of the Perceptron in this video. In addition, if you're interested in the academic paper that introduced the Perceptron, I shared a PDF link in the YouTube description. This academic paper by Frank Rosenblatt is titled, The Perceptron, a probabilistic model for information storage and organization in the brain. He presents this paper in 1958. In this example, we'll build an OR gate using the Perceptron model implemented using PyTorch, which is an open source, Python-based machine learning library. Here's the truth table for an OR gate. You can see to implement an OR gate, if either one or both inputs are one, then the output is one. Otherwise, the output is zero. To implement an OR gate using the Perceptron, we will need to train our model. Train our model will get our weights and biases to optimal values. We will see in a few minutes how we do this as we step through the code. Okay, so let's look at the Python PyTorch implementation of a Perceptron behaving as an OR gate. So in this Python script, in the first few lines, you can see that the Python dependencies are imported. I'm basically importing classes from the PyTorch library. I included information on this in the readme file located in the GitHub project associated with this video. The GitHub URL for this project can be found in the YouTube video description. Next, I declare a Python class and I named it Perceptron, which will implement the logic gate with two inputs. The weights and biases are initialized to default values. The init constructor defines a single layer network with two inputs. Next, I override the forward method with my own activation logic. I define a sigmoid function for this activation logic. Next, I define input sizes two for my two inputs and instantiate a perceptron object. I define a criterion object. Next, I define an optimizer object. Next, I define my training data. Then I define my corresponding labels to the input training data. These labels represent our desired predicted values given the respective input training data. Next, I will train the model using the training data and the labels. I define the epochs, which is the maximum number of training iterations to perform in this loop. The first step in this training loop is to set the model into training mode. Next, I perform a forward pass on the model with the training data. Then I calculate the loss by passing the expected results in the form of the label. Then we perform a backward pass, which executes an incremental optimization of the weights and biases. Every 100th epic iteration, we print out the epic counter and the loss value. And with each training iteration, the loss becomes smaller and smaller. After training, it's time to evaluate the Perceptron model. We move the model into evaluate mode. We then test the model by passing in the training data. We get the predicted output and we print it out. And you can see from the results that our Perceptron model has been trained correctly and is behaving as an OR gate. Okay. So feel free to download this Python code. The GitHub URL is in the YouTube description. And you can see how easy it is to implement an OR gate with a Perceptron model using PyTorch. If you look at the GitHub project, I also included an example of the Perceptron implementing an AND gate as well as a NOT gate. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all the other videos in this playlist, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning and AI. 
but don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing. Get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear about it. And with that, have a great day.